What's going on everybody? My name is John Hammond and welcome back to another YouTube video. We're talking about the Sunshine CTM. This challenge we're going to take a look at now is the Wrestler Name Generator. It's the second challenge in the web category. It says, even better than the Wu-Tang Name Generator, legend has it that Hulk Hogan used this app to get his name. So we have ng sunshinectf.org. Let's go check it out. Looks like, welcome to the Wrestler Name Generator. Enter your name below to get your wrestler name. Uh, so we got first name, last name, weapon choice. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Um, so let's just say my first name is John and my last name is Hammond. Cool. And let's get wrestler name. My weapon of choice is obviously Thumbtacks. My wrestler name is John the Hacker Hammond. Oh, that warms my heart. It warms my heart. Thank you, Sunshine CTF. How'd you know? <laughs> so the interesting thing here to take a look at is this input over in the URL. This looks like a lot of base64. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually fire this up in idle so we can work with it interactively. Uh, let's paste this in and actually we want to be able to decode it. So let's set it to a variable. Let's just say a whatever. And let's do import URL lib and let's URL lib dot unquote I think right a yep okay cool so that gives us our base 64 and let's go ahead and decode that as base 64 you can do this in Python 2 in Python 3 it'll yell at you you got to import codecs and do all that crap so Python 2 is much faster in my case <laughs> for for CTFs but uh, I know it's gonna run out of support pretty soon single tier small violin so we got XML responded to us XML version 1 with our input included and the first name and last name Okay, so looks like we can control XML. It looks like uh, we actually have the potential to send in some XML by changing this, right? Like, if we were to just supply in that URL our own base64, would it would it decode it? Would it work with it on its own for us? We can find that out. Uh, let's actually go ahead and define a how about how about XML string? We can go ahead and. Uh, Break a function that will actually take an XML string, base64, encode it, and then prepare it with the URL lib quote function. So let's just call it something stupid like work or whatever. Yeah, yeah, work. Hello, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so string, doesn't matter. Um, again, we're just doing this in idle, so it's kind of faster for us. Let's just say return string dot encode base64, and then let's actually say. Uh, we, we want that URL lib in quoted. So URL lib quote. Good. Okay. So now we can work on something like this. Blah, blah, blah. And let's just actually change my name to be uh, please subscribe. Okay. So now it gives us all that. Can we copy and paste that in? Will that work as a fine payload? Just replace that input. And yes, please the slasher subscribe. That's cool. All right. So what do we have here? We have control over XML, so the extensible markup language. Um, I have talked about this in another video with Pwn Function, uh, PWN Function. He's on YouTube. He's in the Discord server. Phenomenal guy. Um, if you want to go check that video out, we talk about XML external entities. Um, and that is the XXE vulnerability that we can take advantage of in this case. So I we go into more much more depth in Pwn Functions video. He's awesome. He's growing in a YouTube channel, so go subscribe to him if you haven't. Um, but we talk about a little bit more in depth, and we showcase how you can take advantage of this by exploring the XML. What I want to do is I want to show you the payload and then how we can take advantage of it. So let's get to payload all the things which is a phenomenal resource if you're doing some capture the flag stuff. It has a nice GitHub repository and it's a good list. Scroll down here, we should have XXE injection or XML external entities. So an XML external entity attack is a type of attack against an application that parses XML input and allows XML entities. An XML entity can be used to tell the XML parser to fetch specific content on the server, okay? So if an entity is declared within a DDD, it's an internal entity, and external entities outside identified by system. So we've got some syntax here that we can use. We can go ahead and determine, okay, let's get it set a password displayed to us. Um, looks like this is just XML that we can just go ahead and put together. So why not try it? Let's copy and paste this. Let's say work on that. And we're gonna have to just kind of escape these, unfortunately. So what will that return for us? Let's try it. 
Let's move over to our wrestler name generator. And following the input, let's make it this. My wrestler name is the Fierce, and we didn't have any luck. I viewed the source here just to say, though, it says hacker name functionality coming soon. If you're trying to test the hacker name functionality, make sure you're accessing the page on the web server. Your hacker name is redacted. If you're trying to test the hacker name functionality, make sure you're accessing the page from the web server. Okay, that's interesting. Looks like we have to be accessing it locally or some way to get the hacker name is redacted. Um, but we got the fear, so it looks like it didn't return our um, our original file. It said password payload. Now, why is that, right? Doc type root. In the original one, we were using encoding UTF-8, and we had inputs displayed here. So maybe we need to put that in input first name, last name stuff. Let's try that. Let's say doc type root, test system, root root. Let's put it, let's make that doc type input. Oh, well, that's already defined, isn't it? So previously, right, in the XML. So maybe we can just say first name includes root, and that's going to be capital here. And first name, let's try that. And let's get our last name in there too, just for safekeeping and make sure we end input. Maybe, does input still have to be in there? Let's find out. We've defined the root here. So before we create our first name, let's say have, let's have input in there. Oh, I'm sorry. We probably might not have been able to see much of that. Let me try and resize that. So it's my face isn't in the way. My bad. Let's run work on that and see if we got a result that we can work with here. Paste that in. Nope, we have the slasher subscribe. Okay, so let's go back to our payload and see if we can make anything. Let's we we didn't have the we didn't have the encoding UTF-8 in there, so let's I guess include that just for some good some niceties maybe in case it needs that, just in case. And then doc type root entity system file, etc. Password input first name. We don't need the root document in there anymore, do we? We just need test first name, last name, subscribe. Let's try that. How does this guy look? So I removed the root and I didn't even close it when I had it before earlier, didn't I? Oh no. Did I close it early? <laughs> I guess I probably like just did that and then wasn't thinking. So let's paste that in. Let's see what we got. Okay, cool. We got it set for password. So now we know we have local file inclusion and we've got the external XML, XML external entity attack working. So uh, reviewing that source though, that comment said that we needed to, if you need to test the hacker name functionality, make sure you're accessing the page from the web server. So just as we saw earlier, we have to supply that. Maybe we can maybe we can just access this page from localhost by changing up what we want to actually access in our XML entity. Let's change this to no longer XML version, blah, 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 not file, it's that password that we're looking for. Let's change HTTP and let's go to localhost, right? Because that's going to access itself. And we'll say, what is it that we want? We want the generate.php page? Yeah. Okay, generate.php. Enter that. Now we've got the payload we can pass in. And I'm sorry we've been doing this by hand. It's probably much smarter to script this, but uh, we'll, we'll crank that out in another video or some extracurricular for you. So there we go. Your wrestler name is Sun. I love Hulk, the external entity, Hogan. Subscribe. <laughs> so there is our flag. We can go ahead and submit that. And that is that. 150 points for wrestler name generator, some XML external entity attacks, and that, that's that's crazy cool. Um, something that I had failed with when I was first going through this challenge was actually going to the generate.php page on its own, uh, or actually, sorry, just the home page, and entering 
some XML stuff within these input fields, and I don't think it worked as well as it should have, which is why when I realized, like, oh, I can just control that get variable, why don't I do that? Um, I had much, a lot more success. So, still piecing together what that attack really looks like. Um, I'm not the best with XML, so I probably failed on that root entity over and over again. I'm sorry for that, but hey, cool attack. Glad we got it working, and I uh, hope it was very, very interesting and very, very fun for you guys. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Love to see you on the Discord server. There is a link in the description. Love to see you on PayPal. Love to see you on Patreon. Just love to see you. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,